Hey folks, welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Today I'm going to review the Luoshi Labyrinth. And what does that stand for? Uh, Labyrinth is a maze. A maze, okay. So let's take a look at the pen and I'll show you why they named it this. It is a pretty cool, interesting uh, fountain pen, to say the least. I love the designs. It's very unique how they put this pen together. So, it has this really cool cutout design in the barrel. And it's gunmetal, which I really like gunmetal. Gunmetal to me just really looks really awesome. It all goes together real fine. And right here on the cap is the name of the pen. Luoshi. And as we go to the back, there's really nothing there. So, the clip itself, it's super tight. Let's see how it would work on a shirt uh not very, well there it goes so you had some trouble putting it on there but once it gets on there it's going to stay on there it could be a little bit looser because it's pretty tight maybe uh in time it'll loosen up a little bit but it's pretty stiff the clip i don't like them too stiff i don't like them too flimsy or loose so but other than that, that's not bad. That's not a big thing unless you're one of those that are very picky. Okay, as you go up the barrel, up right there on the finial, it's just flat round. And we just travel down the barrel all the way to the very end. And it kind of tapers in right here. Well, this pin, as you see it here capped, is going to weigh in at... 40.1 G's. So, the length of this pen, capped as you see it, is 5.51 inches. So, posting. Let's go to posting right next. If you'd like to post your pen, you can, but it would look a bit too ridiculous. And that would come in at 6.64 inches. So, for me, I wouldn't do it. Uh, it fits my small hand well, and uh, it fits large hands well. I just tested it with some people that had large hands, and uh, they said they had no problems with it. So that's pretty cool. So while we have the cap off, let's go on down the barrel. It's got a couple of rings right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it really is a beautiful pen. And as you go down to the grip session, it has a, a medium-sized grip session, not a huge, but then not a small grip section. And, uh, you know, it's, it's that gunmetal type on the uh, grip section. So, is it slippery? I don't find it slippery. Maybe other folks may, but for me, I have yet to find it slippery. So let's go on down to the nib. And the nib. It's a real small nib. Looks like a five maybe. Uh, it does have the name of the pen and it's 22K GP. Go plate it. And steel nib. Nice good close up of that nib. And let's take a look at the feed which is a plastic feed. Okay, so let's go ahead and screw the barrel. And it does come with the converter. And it pulls out. Okay, so you have four pieces. Let's put the converter back in. And we'll screw it up. Now, like I said, this is a cutout design of gunmetal, and it does come in a brush gold and brass color as well. And from the description I read, it's memorizing that one joins this other part of the barrel that just makes it exceptional design so they're saying that it's memorizing look at this barrel which is really awesome and when you put 
the pin together with the cap and the barrel, they say it's uh, just the kind of pin you just keep looking at. Okay. I do think it's an awesome design. I do love the gun metal on it. Okay. It has, it has a little bit of weight, but I like uh, heavy pin. That doesn't ever bother me. So, the question is, how does this little jewel write? Well, we're going to find out right now. I'm going to use some Robert Oyster ink here. Uh, some of the... Uh, this is <clears throat> Gold Antiqua. Put that down here, and uh, we get ready. And action, roll them. Camera! So I'm just going to dip the pen, if you don't mind, because I've got to clean it out. There, so. And let's see if I have enough on here. Maybe not. No, I think I do. I'll clean off the section. Bam. And I better cap the bottle of ink because knowing me I will knock it over all right so here we go And we'll do some reverse. And you can get an extra fine. To me, this is more of a fine, maybe fine medium, but here's a downstroke and a cross stroke. It's got some good ink flow. It's a smooth nib. It's a stiff nib. You're not going to get any flex out of it, really. And it's not made to flex anyway. And then the ink ran out because... I just dipped the nib in the ink that was off because I didn't want to ink the, the full pin up because I want to give it a quick cleaning so I won't have a bunch of pins accumulating there to be clean. Okay, so what's your thoughts of this pin? I think it's about $12.95, $13. You get it off eBay. It does have a really nice looking barrel. I like that cutout in the pen. That, that's pretty awesome. And I do like the gun metal. I've always liked gun metal. I thought that was always cool looking myself. Uh, from a 1 to 10, I would rate this pen. On looks, it's going to have a 10. On weight, it's going to have a 10 because I like heavy pens. Uh... On the writing, I would give it a 5 to a 6, maybe. Uh, you're not going to get nothing fantastic out of writing with the pen, I don't think, in my opinion. But you're going to get an okay experience. Don't, don't think you're going to get a wow out of it, because that's not going to happen. But we're all are different. You know, my views are different than yours, so it's up to the individual to make his her her own decision that's just my input is it worth the money yeah i think so i think it's pretty cool having your collection that's going to wrap it up my good friends thank you for joining me today on larry's fountain pin review oh man that's a wonderful high there until my next one stay safe peace love please don't text and drive remember wash the hands follow the rules Wear the mask and all that good jazz.
I'm done. Bye-bye.